Congratulations on the film, saw it this morning, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's a project you've been working on for a long time. You must be delighted that it's now come to fruition. And I'm else. so glad it's done and I can get on with my life. <laughs> Move on to other pastures. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. You know, I, was there, I mean, was there a reason that you, you took so long with this one? Was it a, 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 in terms of uh, story or anything like that? Or the elements kind of coming together at once? It wasn't supposed to be like that, you know? It wasn't <laughs> supposed to be like that. We. The screenplay took a little bit longer than we thought it was going to take to get this kind of big idea into a manageable 120, 130 pages. And then it was hard to get financing. It took us a while to get financing for this thing. It's, uh, it's no easy task to get a hefty budget for something which doesn't, which isn't very obvious given today's American commercial market. You know, the superheroes and the remakes and that kind of thing. Was this the most kind of challenging directorial role for you in the sense that it was a bigger budget and you had you know, lots of special effects and everything else? Yeah, visual effects, visual effects, it's not that it's so hard, but it's just time consuming, both, both on the set and then in, in post-production, in, yeah. in editing. And I had a lovely visual effects supervisor who put everything into little bite-sized pieces for me, you know, <clears throat> so I wasn't overwhelmed by what I didn't know. You know, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So he, he made that possible for me. We just spoke to your producer, Mark, and he was saying, uh, in terms of, the, obviously it took you a long time to make it, but now it seems more relevant than ever. Now it's coming out in 2017, given some of the themes in so. the movie. I guess so. Yeah, look, the, the, the so-called issues or themes that the film touches on or that are present in the film, they, they've always been around and they'll always be around. But right now, because of the hideousness, not just in the U.S. with that dude, but all around the world, things are in kind of a hideous downward spiral. Uh, they, uh, those things seem more, they stand out in more relief. Yeah, and you've always, you've always been able to get amazing casts for your movie. I mean, this Thanks. one's no different. Uh, obviously, Matt Damon, Christoph Waltz, you must have been delighted with the people that kind of come on board for this one. Yes, I was, I was <laughs> delighted. The, the big, th I mean, Christoph Waltz and Matt Damon, they're no-brainers, but finding someone out of nowhere, this Hong Chao, if you swing your camera over here, <laughs> this gal in the red, uh, finding the right actor to play a very weird, idiosyncratic, specific part and to do it with great panache and, and steal the movie, Absolutely. Was, uh, that's, that's, that was the exciting part. And after this one, obviously it was a big undertaking, as you say, are you taking a little break now or have you got the next project kind of lined up? Or? Uh, I got a new kid, so I got to deal with a kid for a while, which is a lovely other project to work to do. Um, but um, I have no idea what my next film is. So if you or any of your colleagues, I'm serious, have a good film idea, let me know. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a shout. We'll give Dude, you a shout. This is what you want be in, a the, remake, in the team. Could be a, a short story, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it'll be one, I'm sure. Listen, thank you for your time. It's been an absolute right. pleasure. Thanks thank you so lot. much. Have Thanks. a good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!